Welcome all! Today I'll be presenting some works from my PhD regarding blood parasites effect on lizard hosts. The parasites in question are mostly from the order Adeliurina, which despite them being very widespread blood parasites of lizards, we are still quite lacking in knowledge of their effects across many lizards host taxa. For these works, I've studied sympatric populations of two Podarsi species from northern Portugal known to host these parasites. However, no effects on health or behavior had been previously identified in parasitized individuals. Considering the concept of parasitism, we would expect to see negative effects from parasite infection, which led us to hypothesize these lizards might be shifting their behaviors towards mitigating the negative impact of infection. Following a behavioral change we identified in one of the species, we further hypothesized infected lizards could be modulating their thermoregulatory behaviors in response to infection. When initially testing for behavioral changes, we assessed both exploratory behavior in unknown open arenas and aggressiveness with mirror interaction responses. When later assessing possible shifts in thermoregulatory behavior for Podarsis lusitanicus only, we recorded the lizard's temperatures with a thermal camera in a thermal gradient during a day. For both experiments, parasite quantification was done with microscopy on blood smears. When analyzing the behaviors, we identified both species were intrinsically different and that only one, Podarsis lusitanicus, responded to infection. Infected lizards of this species appeared bolder by leaving the refuge earlier and being more willing to go into exposed areas than their uninfected peers. Trying to relate this change with thermoregulation, however, proved a bit more tricky, as the observed effects were more subtle. Infected lizards did display a trend towards lower thermoregulatory precision, but it appeared poorly supported by statistical analysis. Still, Results are quite interesting as they show two very different responses to the same parasite across very close species which live in sympatry. This could indicate that this species' coexistence with a parasite have been different in the past, leading to different evolutive histories and responses to infection. It could also signify the existence of unknown parasite diversity undetected with current markers. The behavioral shift in Podarsis lusitanicus led us to suspect the parasite could be affecting not boldness directly, but instead the thermoregulatory capacities of the host, hence the attempt to spend more time basking by the infected individuals. Analyzing thermoregulation, our results seem to be in line with those of Orvath et al, where infected lizards had lower thermoregulatory precision. However, the higher willingness for exposure didn't translate into higher preferred temperatures for the infected lizards. This might suggest infection control causes faster temperature losses, requiring more basking time and leading to lower precision. Since our results were non-significant, however, we can't assume that behavioral changes were indeed linked to thermoregulation and not to increased risk-taking by the parasitized individuals due to their lower reproductive value. Also interesting to address is that while studies in Iberolacerta often found relations with parasite infection intensity, all our findings connect with infection status, whether individuals are parasitized or not. This could be because the remarkably high parasite prevalence in Iberolacerta populations often close to 100%, prompts for competition within infected lizards and the developing of more finely tuned responses to infection intensities, while the lower prevalences in this podarsis population might make it so parasitized lizards benefit from acting on the infection even at low intensities to not fall behind the majority of their uninfected peers. Thank you all for being here, and thanks to all that assisted with these works. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or for further discussion on the topics and enjoy the Congress. Cheers!